Dear viewers, welcome back to Arif's Education TV and tutorial on Introduction to Excel for Beginners, Part B. My name is Arif. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a number of basic functions within Excel, which includes how to change different font types, how to increase or decrease font sizes, how to align text to left, center, or right, how to copy, cut, and paste uh, information from one cell to another, from multiple cells, from a number of columns or rows. We are here um, on the home page, I mean the home screen of Excel. We can see um, column A having some um, you know names here column b with financial information row one uh, has got some information like months so uh, we just need to actually play around with uh, these letters and numbers so let's take the example of um, uh, font types like here if we click a reef uh, we can see by default uh, the font type is um, Calibri. So uh, you may be required to actually use different font, um, you know, type like uh, Times New Roman, uh, Arial, or Korea. So depending on your needs or the requirements at your workplace or at your, um, you know, school, college, university, you have to actually use the type. So it's very important. So let's say we are going to highlight, you know, all the columns here and then we choose Times New Roman, for example. So what we can do, we can actually uh, scroll down towards the bottom because um, they are in alphabetical order. So we look for Times New Roman. So you can see it's here. So after we have selected all the columns, we can actually look here and then, you know, we can just click. So, um, you know, all the information here, you know, will change to actually times new so you click here you see now if you click outside so obviously you see there is still calibre so you may ask that how I can actually change the whole sheet you know uh, into times new so in order for us to do that what we should do actually we can click at the top left hand corner uh, of this I mean um, you know above uh, one and next to a okay so we click here so we actually highlight the whole sheet and then we can actually go back there and look for times here and we click here. So as you do it, this whole sheet, so wherever, whatever you type here, you know, within the sheet, let's say you type, you know, like my name. So it's actually uh, typed here in times new. So uh, that's how we actually do it. Now, if you want to change it to something else, you do the same thing again. And then you go there, let's say you want to change it this time to uh, probably another popular one, uh, for example, Arial. So you look for it here, okay, and you should be able to find it here, so Arial. So you, you click, so it will change back to actually Arial now. Now another important thing is uh, you may have to uh, increase or decrease the font sizes. So let's say, um, you know, January, February, March, you know, you want to, you know, uh, increase them to, um, you know, um, from 11 to something else. So currently by default, it's 11. So if you want to do it, you can simply click next to, you know, number here, you can see um, A, you know, it says increase font size. And if you do the smaller one, uh, it should show decrease font size. So you can see as soon as you put your cursor on this, you know, it, you know, it will, you know, appear. So what you can do, you can click once, it will give you a number 12, 14, 16, like this. And if you do the other one, you know, it will actually decrease. That's how you do. And also, um, I mean, alternatively, you can actually change directly here. So if you need to do it, let's say 24, so you do. Excel is pretty smart because as soon as you you know, put uh, your cursor on the number, it will actually give you the highlight, um, you know, like a preview. So until you click it, it won't actually um, settle down. So if you click here, let's say at 18, 
it will stay like this okay so uh, you know so you go back and you change it to maybe 14 for example now you can see the January you can see February you can see properly so you what you should do to expand it you know to make sure that you want to do it you know um, within the same size so what you should do you highlight B C and D and then after you have highlighted just click the last column so let's say after D in between D and E just double click you know I mean double left click so you know it should expand to the you know desired um, uh, size okay so that's how you actually do this sort of thing now another important thing is you can see that all these numbers are actually you know on the right hand side so if you want to actually you know put it to the left or the center you know what you can do basically you can highlight the entire column you know by clicking let's say B then put the cursor here so if you click this one it will take you to the left okay, everything if you do the middle one this will uh, you know uh, do it center for you and if you do it on the right it will do you know right for you so if you want to do the individual one let's say 6,000 you want to make it in the middle so it will work as well so if you want to do the multiple um, you know cells with numbers it will do the same thing okay so it depends on you know uh, what you want to do you know how much you want to do and all these things so if you want to do the whole column the best thing uh, for you to do is to highlight the whole column by clicking B and then click either in the middle on the left so that's how you do now another uh, important thing you would like to learn today uh, how to actually copy and paste so there are different um, ways of doing this um, you know one of the easiest uh, ways of doing it is to actually select you know uh, the cell and then right click on your mouse and then you can see that it shows as copy or cut so let's say we want to copy it so we click copy then we want to copy here maybe um, you know uh, under E so we click left click then again right click there and do paste so it's copied okay so um, alternatively you know if you need to actually cut something let's say we'll cut it here now so what we'll do we do the same step right click okay on your mouse um, and then uh, you know cut and let's say we want to put it somewhere else maybe here under K so we actually right click then we paste so it actually uh, moved from E to K actually this column okay so anytime you want to delete you just hit uh, the you know the delete button on the keyboard so if you need to actually um, copy the whole column this is the same step or cut the whole column so you actually highlight this right click you know on your um, uh, mouse and then copy and let's see you want to do it here so again you right click on it and then paste so the whole thing should be um, you know copied exactly the same way you actually cut okay so uh, now we can actually go back to our previous step by actually clicking the you know undo function here you know, next to save so this will do the same thing now this dotted thing if you want to remove you can just simply press escape on your keyboard now if somebody asks you how to actually copy the whole sheet so what you have to do you have to actually click you know at the top left hand corner just above one uh, and next to a uh, row so you just click it to select as I you know mentioned before and then you right click on your mouse and you copy let's we'll do it in sheet 2 so we go back there and we put our cursor here at the top left as indicated before and right click and do paste so it should actually um, you know paste the whole thing so like this so we go back to sheet 1 we see it sheet 2 we see the same thing so viewers I hope um, 
you understand how we need to actually copy and paste so um, you know do some practice um, you know uh, immediately after this tutorial so you can actually memorize it and you know how to apply them to practice thank you very much for watching Arif's Education TV